with a Type R swap. This is my good friend Richard right here. There, where is, there he is. We got a ghost in the back seat. And today we're gonna do a nice little review for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. First off, start the video, leave a thumbs up because come on man, we are in a Type R swapped EM1. So first off, Richard, introduce yourself. All right guys, so my name is Richard. I am from Miami. This is my third Honda. I had an EG hatch and a DC2 Integra, just like Zosh's before this. And it was cleaner, so it's not like mine. It was way better than mine. I wasn't gonna say that. I'm, I'm just saying But that. we all know my shit's like the dying Integra of YouTube, so it's all good. It's all good. We're all good there. So this car here is my daily driver. It has power windows, it has an alarm, it, it has cruise control, it has airbags, well the passenger side has airbags, and it gets me from A to B fairly quickly. Um, it has a 1998 Integra Type R swap, full LSD transmission, um, it has the 4, I think it's the 4.7 final drive, everything is Type R exactly the way it's supposed yeah. to be. So you dyno the car, who was your tuner? I tuned it with Durf Tuning. Tuned with Durf? Out of, um, damn what's his shop? STP, right? STP. STP Performance, that's right, you're right. Um, Durf is an amazing tuner. He I is. say that hands down, the best. I've also tuned with other people in the past before. Um, I just like the way Durf did business. I like the way he tuned it. He didn't overly aggressively tune the car, like some people say. Um, he There's does. so many mixed reviews on Durf. Yeah. Like, oh, he 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 tunes too aggressive to where like you you can't drive it. Oh, he didn't tune my car fast enough. You it's see, like with every all, tuner. All of that is just driver preference, though. Yeah. That's not on the tuner. Yeah. yeah. If you tell the tuner, yeah, make it as fucking reliable as you can. You're not gonna make the highest horsepower numbers, but you're gonna be reliable. True. And at the end of the day, that's what I wanted. I went to Durf, I had my P28 chip DCU with a base map from eBay running extremely rich. Damn. Um, I did a base run of 100, I, I think it was 184 to the wheel. And Holy I, shit, that's, that's your base run? Yeah, that that's was, more than me tuned! That was my base run. Jesus! <laughs> Yeah, that surprised everybody. Oh my um, god! I, I I couldn't believe I made that. I had an LSV with full bolt-ons before this tuned, and it only made 179. So oh for a base god, run, dude. first time on the on the rollers, you know, 185. That was that was pretty crazy. Type R, man. Type R. Type R is the way to go if you're going be serious. But another good B-Series mode that, like, I wouldn't personally do it in an Integra because it's like, that saying is like, there's no replacement for displacement, but it's a B-16 motor. Oh, Them yeah. are the strongest motors aside from the Type R motor that you can get. All right, look, there's about 95,000 of you right now watching this. Tell me if you've ever seen a B-16 on boost break. Ever. I, I've never, ever. I've never heard of a B-16 having, I have a friend named Steven, you guys know Steven from the white s 2000 video I reviewed. And he had a B16 in his blue EG he had, and he didn't do an oil change for a full year because I guess he just got the car. He didn't know like anything about the car. He decided they had a uh, dual overhead cam motor, but he didn't do an oil change for a full year, and nothing went wrong. Nothing. 
I gotta pull oil in my shit like every four minutes because I got this stupid distributor leak. Which by the time you watch this, well, hopefully will by the time I watch it, it will be fixed. That will my be man fixed. DC2 Juice is sending me out a GSR OEM distributor that I'm gonna slap on the car and go back to my tuner and get it re-timed again for like the fourth time this week. <sighs> no more issues once you put that no GSR more distributor on. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. So what exhaust you got running on the car? Right now I have a full two and a half inch custom exhaust from Miami Muffler. Miami Muffler, Look shout out, out to you if guys. You're from Down south, you already know Miami Muffler is one of the best muffler shops. Hit up my boy Miguel, he's one of the owners. Um, I actually had this exhaust made for my EG hatch. When I got my Integra, I put it on, extended it about six inches, and put the vibrant muffler just like my boy right here has. Vibrant is the way to go. Hands Tell down, you. love their mufflers. The, the sound, deep quality, the quality of the muffler is what, and it's cheap. It's like 120 for the pan. It's really cheap. You know, he's quoting you 120. I saw it on eBay for 90 bucks. Look, you 30 bucks, saying? man. 30 bucks cheaper. And, you know, eBay is so... I feel bad for people who, like, bash eBay. Yeah, I don't know why eBay is, have... like, one of the greatest car park websites you could ever go... They have Honestly. main brand stuff, and they offer it to you for so much cheaper. It's free shipping on everything. I've never paid shipping on eBay. Never. No, no matter what never. I bought, I never paid shipping. I have the two and a half inch full exhaust. Two and a half. No cat. No long cat. resonator. So, I do have a resonator on there. Mm -hmm. Um with the Apex e World Sport 2 exhaust, uh, the muffler in the back. Um, quiet, as you can tell, we're having a normal, chilling ass conversation on yep. Monday afternoon. Yep. And just whenever I want. Ooh, it takes turns so good. What's the switch are you running? I got function form type ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know I don't have the dampening system of the type twos, but whatever. I have the type ones um, with the OEM SI sway bar in the front, GSR sway bar in the rear, mm -hmm. ASR subframe brace with ASR LCAs, and Full uh, yeah, that's about it. Full suspension. I'm running. Let me. T uh, what is it? Um, I have accurate TL brake calipers and brake pads. Really? Yeah. Wow. So my calipers are actually a little bit bigger than the stock SI OEM ones. Um, but that doesn't help my cause because right now my rotors are, are pretty shot. Ugh. So pads are great. Rotors, rotors are not so much. Uh, red what light. Else? What else um, can we talk about? A red light. We're not going to get something to eat. You hungry already? No, I'm just cool. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put that in the video. <laughs> That's definitely going in the video. So what got you into cars? Um, to be honest, I've always had a very large interest in anything that was moving um, on its own propulsion. So cars, trains, planes, boats. Oh, that's good. Anything like Different that. Different from the norm. Um, I love it. I can respect anything that makes power from a Volkswagen to a <laughs> fucking Ducati. My first car was a 1993 Toyota Camry, four-cylinder, wow, automatic. Wow, old school. Um, I had tents on it, the AC broke, freezing cold, and I had two 12-inch kickers in the trunk, and it was fucking amazing. I love the car. Drove me to and back from Miami to Orlando countless of times. Wow, reliability. Toyota, you yeah, see that? Toyota reliability. Reliability. The Toyota eventually gave out. Um, I'm not going to lie, I didn't change the oil on it for... Oh, long. my God. God. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie about it. I'm not gonna lie about it. I was a lot younger back oh then. Oh my god. Um, and then I got to a, um, I picked up this 1993 OEM original Ooh. SI hatchback. Ooh. It's, um, now Damn, I know, I know some, somebody on here is gonna go and look it up and tell me I'm wrong. But I called it an EG6. I know it's not an EG6 because EG6 is the, the JDM one and it's whatever. But mine. That's a huge, huge topic people talk about. Oh, yeah, it's not yeah, an yeah, EG, it's, it's an EJ. Little, I'm like, EJ. it's the same shit. We call it EG Coupe, EG Hatch, EK Hatch, EK Coupe. We don't call yeah. it EJ8, EJ6. Yeah, yeah, then you're getting too technical. Yeah, you get, it's too technical. So, me, I mean, I had my EG6, it had the sunroof. 
Um, no power locks, manual windows. I had Damn, AC, dude. And that was my first Honda. It was the prettiest Honda. And maybe, maybe Zosh, you could probably put a picture of it in the video somewhere. Yeah. It is one of the cleanest EG hatchbacks you'll ever see. That's rare, man. The Kobe. find an SI Watch. stock. Wait, the previous owner had it spoon replicated, so I had like the oh. black rotor slips. It was painted gunmetal gray. Um, black hood, black engine bay, the interior was painted all black. It was nice. Damn, dude, how much you get it for? You remember the price? I would rather not disclose it because it was a lot of money. But you're getting it was, a, you're getting it. Those are like hatches now, EG hatches in Florida are rare. It's super rare to find in a good condition. If you spent like four grand, five grand. Look, it was 4,700. Wait, was it B-Swap or single cam? No, it was B-Swap. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Oh, you're, oh fine. you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Damn. If you pay that for single cam, oh nah, my. Nah, nah, that nah. shit had to be immaculate. Look, save money. the single cams, but I'll never have one. Yeah. Um, so anyway, sad story about the EG. I got it full bolt-ons, and the week that I was supposed to get paid to get it tuned, um, I got cut off on 8th Street by FIU. If oh, anyone is from Miami, you guys God. know 8th Street is very dangerous. I got cut off. I, I had to curb the car to make sure I wasn't going to get hit. Um, I shattered the window and um, pickled the roof. Damn, um, dude. By pickling the roof, I pretty much took the roof of the car and caused it to go like that. Oh, so it just it like caved in. Yeah, yeah. The sun, any car with a sunroof, the weakest spot is right up there. Yep, yep. So I sold the car, standing shell for 1200 bucks. Kept my LSV Tech and Tranny. Mm -hmm. Found the GSR that you know, my DC2. Yeah. Put the LSV Tech in that because the, the GSR that it came with had, uh, was blown. It had uh, bad rings. Bad rings, so yeah. So smoke screen off the tailpipe all the fucking time. It was ridiculous. Um, the, the Integra, I really made my own. If you guys actually go onto my Instagram and look, my Integra was extremely clean. Like, I made it my own. It like, was. I put, it was green with black wheels with a little bit of accenting of gold to, to represent my Jamaican nationality. I made the Integra my own. It was amazing. I tuned it. Um, it made 179 to the wheel. And that's what, just LSV, right? LSV yep, tag? straight LSV, stock internals, didn't open up the motor, just intake header exhaust, and... That's not know, that's bad, it. that's really damn good. I mean, it was good, but... That's really damn good. You know, you always want to make 200 as a B-series. Yeah, you always you know? want, that's what I want, man. I, 200 for B-series is like 300 for K-series. Because you can make, you know, stock K-series with both times make like 270, 280. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Sold the Integra for a very, very good price. Um, I always told people I wouldn't sell it unless I got that asking price. And when I got my asking price, the following day, title was signed over and cash was in my pocket. Wow. Yep, yep. yep. I, I don't really second guess my decisions, especially when I'm really assertive on them. Yeah. Um, I just, you know. Just go with it. Cars, man, they come and go. How you got the M1? The EM1, my brother bought it about four or five years ago from this guy in West Palm Beach. It was all VIN matching vehicle. Rare. From bumpers. Super rare. To the windows, to the frame, to the motor, to the tranny, everything was VIN matching. Clean title. Super rare. Um, he bought it for a good amount and he drove it, dailied it. He worked at the airport, never hit VTEC, drove oh, it like wow. a grandma. He then put the Type R swap in it. Um, for the record, all the work on the car has been done at Fine Tune Performance. Fine Tune. Hands down, one of the best aftermarket performance shops in Miami. If you need anything done from building your Subaru your to building, right here, guys. This is the plug. building Tell a Richardson. Corvette, anything, anything they can do for you. Ask for Cornell or Eddie. Look them up. They're the best. So we did the swap with Fine Tune. Um, they they did it real quick, real fast, and until this day, it's re been running very, very reliably. No hiccups, no problems, nothing, nothing, nothing. Type I, R, I, baby, type R. Well, he drove it for about a year, untuned, just dailying it, just chilling, never raced it, and then he came up on a uh, 2016 Camaro SS. So this car, as you may guess, did not get driven. When I got when I got rid of my Integra, I just happened to ask him if I could. Uh, you know, borrow the car for a little while. <laughs> and uh, here we are today, about four months later, with the car tuned, making 195 to the wheel. 195, in case you guys are wondering. Props to Durf. Fred, you're the best man. Man, got a nasty two step. You guys wanna see the two step? You wanna see two step? Watch this clip. <laughs> I 
that two step, huh? That was stock nice, internals. Right? Stock internals type R two step. Stock motor, baby. Hey, right hand drive cap challenge all day. Let's do a 20. <laughs> Let's do a 20. Lock it up, son. <laughs> Come down to Miami. You got a Honda. What's up? Let me know. Monday nights. Oh, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Oh, street races. God, Kids, don't street race. Take it to the track. Take it to the track. Keep it safe. Take it to Mexico, man. Take it to Mexico. Mexico is safe, too. You got to take it over to Mexico. Take it, take it to Mexico, guys. So we also got a clip of him doing a two-step with the launch. So check this out. Alright, so what is the future plans for the car? Like, what do you plan to do next with the car? Alright, now a lot of people might, you know, call me crazy for saying this, but, you know, the car is exactly where I want it to be at right now. Um, I don't plan on boosting it. I do not plan on. Yeah, it's no boost, no boost. I, I don't plan on K swapping this car. Um, I will keep this Type R engine inside of this car running at 195 for as long as I can, and just keep it as reliable as I can, man. Yep, that's all this, you want. This is reliability. all I wanted with the car, and it's been more than you know. I guess you could say great. I, I've been more than grateful with being able to have the car as reliable, yeah, man. you know, as it is. Like, you wouldn't know if it was a Type R in here. You'd think, oh, it's, it's an SI clone, it's this. Or oh, if it is an SI, it's just a B16. Nah, man, nah. you got Type R. JDM Integra 98 spec Type R. So yeah. you guys know, man, Type yeah. R, man, it's the way to go, dude. So really, I, I'm just gonna, I'll probably dress up the engine bay. Dress it Wire up. tuck. Wire tuck. Um, I don't know, delete the brake booster, like... You want to delete the brake booster? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know they Good luck on them damn brake. I hate the way the uh, brake booster brake feels, man. It feels oh, like, man. it feels kind of smushy, like, like, I hate the way it feels. But it looks so it good looks in the so engine bay. It looks so good so in the clean. engine bay. I, I plan on taking out power steering. Um, I'm gonna take off the, I mean, I don't use it. So yeah. I'm gonna take out the power once steering. Once you're moving, you don't really need power steering once you're moving. So. Yeah, that's really, I'm, I'm gonna put it on wheels. Uh, it has coilover, so I'm gonna drop it more. I might have to roll the fenders a little bit, but not much. Yeah, not much. And, um, but that's about it. Like like I said, bro, the car the car is- Exactly where you want Leagues to, past what it was when it originally came out of the Honda factory. So, I, I, I feel like it's already enough. And for my daily usage, like this is perfect. So, if you had to choose after the SI, what car would you get? Just to clarify, uh -huh. I am not a Honda boy. I, really? I am not a Honda fan. No. What? I, I, what the hell? <laughs> I, love, I love Hondas to death. I, I love a Honda fan. There's only Honda. so much fun you can have with the front tire spinning. That's true. You always want. See, um, you, you're right. So you, hit the, you hit the nail on that one. You hit the nail I'm on that one. I'm just being honest. You know, you, you asked me the question. You, you the so this is what I'm gonna tell you. I want, honestly, I would, I would love to have a Nissan rear-wheel drive platform. I told you guys, you say I anything. I, I, I like. I know it's very. It's a very vague answer. Oh, I should run that guy down right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's by automatic. But whatever. Anyway, so I, I I would really love to have like an S13. Oh my um, heart! I S, want one S13, so bad, dude. S13 coupe. Oh. Or USDM. Oh. Not not Sylvia. I mean not JDM front. Mm -hmm. I, I want my pop-up headlights. And I will definitely keep. I, I would probably go SR for the time being. But when the SR, you know, gives out on me, I'll have one J. 1J all day. 1J? Yeah. Yeah, 1J. Everyone in their mama. Go, go you know, 2J. Go on LS. LS. Me, give me a 350Z with a 1J. Give me a 240. Anything, man. I'll Anything I would drive that's nice is a JDM. Yeah, yep. man. If I were to do it, I'd, I'd definitely go with a 180 Type X. So, oh my God. That's my dream car. Oh, the Type X. My, just, that's my dream yeah, car, that's dude. Knees, knees, that right is there. my dream car. <laughs> all right, so I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Richard and his friend Alex for coming down here. Two hour drive to just to have this video moment happen. So worth it. it totally worth see, it. See guys, so don't complain. We gotta come from West Palm Beach. What? Yeah, people complain from, from he West made, Palm Beach. He made the drive. You guys should come Ow. out. Come on. So I'm gonna give a special shout out to these two. Follow their Instagrams, it'll be like right here, right here, follow them right here. 
And um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you can, leave us a nice fat ass thumbs up. Share this to all your Honda enthusiasts, even people who want rear wheel drive. Anybody, your grandma, your auntie, your mom, your brother, your dog. Yeah, you know sister. what? And share this to the people that don't like Hondas. Cause yeah, cause maybe, they like, maybe they'll stop hating. They need to stop. And this is maybe. clean. This is honestly a really clean. I'm, I'm glad I had the opportunity to review this car. It's so nice. It's quick. Type R. You know what I'm saying? It's Type R. It's legit. It's legit. It's a SI with a yeah. Type R. So, I mean, it's the best of both worlds. You got the best Honda, in my opinion, the best SI Honda ever made, in my opinion, with a Type R swap from a 98 spec ITR. You can't go wrong with that. So, with that being said, thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace. Subscribe to my channel. Be right.